Okay. Um, so yeah, I decided to do some RTA. Uh, right now it's the weekend, so we really should be uh, farming hunts. But I didn't want to go like the whole weekend without uh, uploading a video. Um, and I didn't do Guild War. I didn't do the Guild War video yesterday, but I, I did the Guild War because uh, obviously I'm I'm kind of in dire need of Mystic Metals right now. Um, well, not dire need because, like I said, I mean, while Bellion is pretty strong and like her S2 is like insane, um, it's still manageable to a certain degree. So we're going to let's see. We'll take this and we'll take uh, where is she? Take this and then we'll see how she reacts to that. Or see how they react to that. As soon as I see, okay, so there's that. Is he doubling down on the? Um, Okay, they took that, which is fine. So now I get to take uh, ML Haste, which is basically a, a definite ban here. Um, and then I get to bring... Huh. I should probably bring another damage dealer, right? So... I'm not really sure who to bring though. Well, if we're taking haste, that means we can take Arby, so I guess we'll just take Arby. Arby, well, I don't know. He just doesn't have like... Well, actually, you know who I can take? I'm just going to take... Um... Uh, where is she? Here we are. I'm going to take you. Because she'll help with the reduction of the um, revive buff. Because I'm picking haste, but I'm assuming he's going to ban haste because it's like the, only, like the major threat on his team, on my team. Um, depending on these last two picks, I feel like he's light on AoE damage, which means that Landy is probably going to be relatively safe, so I'm not sure. Let's see if we can see what we see. Okay, so he went with that. So we don't have any immunity, so this is in fact a problem. Uh... I can either I can just ban him and bring Spectre Tenebria because this doesn't look too bad. Um, right now that's kind of where I'm leaning towards until that happened. Um, hmm, that's an interesting one. I guess I'll just take um. Where is he? I'll take strays, because it'll be funny. We'll ban you. That's the only CC he has, and that's like, it's fine. Uh, let's see if he takes strays. Okay, so he made everyone squishy, which is fine. Um, my Landy has been kind of shifted around. Um, she was really like 240 speed, uh, 12 to 13k, uh, or 12 to 13, 12... K HP and then um, 12 to 1300 defense. Okay. Well, this is gonna happen. Okay. How about we hit anybody? I don't know. We'll hit. Uh, we'll hit you. You look pretty irritating. I'm, I'm, I haven't actually seen it in play yet, so this is the first time I've seen her, uh, like, do her thing here, which makes me curious as to, I, I really want to see, um, I want to see that in action where, uh, she Ooh, damn, that crowd's dead. Uh, I want to see that in action where, like, she still steals souls after she's dead, because that I don't know, I feel like that needs to be patched, like, I feel like that's not intentional, but if it is intentional, that's pretty crazy, because there's no other passive which is, like, active even after you're dead, is, are they? Um, so that happened. That's fine, because now I have this. Ooh, she's on a, uh, she's on a, wait. Was my Landy, did my Landy get injury? Was she on an injury set? That's crazy. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of dumb on their part. They just didn't have, like, if you're going to kind of go that route, you only start to bring CC in there to deal with, like, the stuff I have, but 
There was no CC at all other than the A Tywin, and the A Tywin mainly just there to block CC. And I wasn't drafting CC, so I'm not sure what that was. I keep saying CC for anyone who doesn't who isn't familiar. CC is crowd control or just debuffs. Um. As long as I'm holding this spear, I won't yeah. So if I say CC, I'm talking about like debuffs and whatnot. In case uh, anyone is not aware, so. Hmm. Let's see, we've got the, uh, yep, so we've got these two. So now, again, like I said, uh, have I said this before? I feel like I've said this before. But, like, in general, this kind of let the, the carrot kind of lets him flex whether he wants to bring a uh, high debuffer, like a lot of debuffers or not. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you and I'm going to bring, uh, where is she, this one. Okay, so now we have someone to um, cleanse buffs if we need to. Um, so these next two picks will kind of d dictate whether I should bring more debuff control or debuff cleansing and stuff like that or or not. But it's looking like probably not going to be that heavy. Um, still though, we're going to bring, where is she? We're going to bring Rem. And we're going to bring... Uh, who else can we bring here? This would be a really good, well, not really good, but it'd be kind of an interesting place to bring her. So right now, the problem, the the thing I'm not too worried about is, like, this carrot. Like, he can bring something else, and we can just ban carrot and not be too concerned. So I'm just going to bring, I don't know, some other carrot counter. Not that it has to be specifically a carrot counter, right? You can just bring whatever you want. He's got a lot of single target, so we can do this. Let's, uh, I want to see what he takes here, and then we'll just ban the carrot. Okay, so we're banning the carrot. Um, of course, we're probably going to get dunked on really hard by the LQC when he, when, when Amelia CR pushes her up, but there's no... Yeah, and, you know, s 10 is going to do s 10 stuff in the background. We can't heal, which is a problem, but, I mean, it shouldn't be too bad. I'm starting to see a lot more um, M MLCCs with like 30, 30k plus HP, which is crazy because mine's like 29. She hits 30 if I have the imprint from Seaside Bologna, but it is what it is. So we're going to see. She's she's just going to kill the, the MLCC. Oh, okay then. Um, she's going to boost up the LQC, and LQC is going to hit MLCC. She kind of has to because she don't really have a choice here. Because if you kill, I mean, you can kill Rem right off the bat, which is fine. Um, but that, that kind of, you're wasting the splash on the S3. Let's see. Okay, then. Um, so, there's that. That was, like, your best tool for getting rid of MLCC, because now these two are just going to go rampant. Um, let's get this S3 out. Um, I guess just hit you. So he's basically burned everything he has already. I mean, she can S1. That's fine. I mean, he, he's going to AoE heal anyway. I mean, didn't really matter who I hit with that. So we brought the book. If the book was maxed, I would have probably soul burned the, um, the Landy. But it wasn't, so here we are. Um, which, there you go, I need to really max out. My book is at plus 15 right now, which is what gives you 15 souls. Um, uh, let's hit you, and let's try to get rid of their healer as fast as possible. She's basically a second damage dealer, right? So she's another Amelia, because she can, or she's another, um, she's another LQC, because she can just boost her up like that. Okay, so here comes this guy. Uh, my one of the issues in this team that I have that I'm look that I'm seeing so far is that we don't have an attack buff, so she's gonna S two again. As we don't have enough, we don't have an attack buff, so our, our attacks are not as hitting as hard as they could be. Um, we're gonna hit you. Let's see who this second one hits? Yeah, it hit her anyway. I'm gonna hit you. Let's see if we can CC her. Nope. 
She still has high effect resistance. This is not all in all. This isn't too bad. Um, having to S3 or Soul Burn now because at least this one's bigger than the first one. Uh, then I get to do this. So then she's dead. Okay, so she's dead, but she's already been through her rotation, right? So she did S2, S3, and S2 again. So she's basically was done. Um, not that it was like a, like, I, you know, it's up to you to decide whether you think what I did that was a mistake or not, but I kind of just wanted to get her out of the way anyway. Um, and Crow was going to S3 no matter what. I probably should have dumped it into Crow just to get him lower because no matter, like, whether he's at this health now or lower, it's, he was still going to kill her anyway. Okay, so we're going to do this, and then we're going to kill the um, the LQC, and this should be basically a wrap. Yep, so now we're just going to kill LQC. Yep, and they left. Um, so that was kind of like, it was a 50-50, because he really should have got the splash damage. Like, he should have defense broken the Rem and taunted her, and then got the splash damage from hitting the the mlcc then just try to like kill mlcc and or just try to kill ram naturally just have everyone dump all their attacks into her and she's defense broken she's gonna take tons of damage anyway right um so that's kind of what i feel like that, that's what they should that's what i would have done because the aoe from bringing uh, lqc is too valuable like if you're just going to use her to, as a single target nuke you should have just brought in someone like um, ml ravi or something like that right um, you bring her in to destroy darks, and then you bring her in to get the AoE nuke off, right? So that's kind of what I think where they lost there. Okay, so this person's probably going to be cleaving. Uh, so we'll take the a decent anti-cleave option in... Where is she? Uh, we'll take a Fallen CC. Just follow my this is pretty good because... Okay, so they're gonna do this. Yep. Okay, so now that that the this this is kind of the problem. You can't really open too hard with this because now uh, I get to take him and I get to take uh, her. Now you just bring uh, LQC into this and he's basically solid. Okay, I guess he doesn't really feel like bringing her yet. I mean, he's probably gonna bring her at some point because that's that's how you counter this. This is like you just do that. We're gonna do this, and we're gonna do this. Why are you come over here? Basically, that's like brought like every anti cleave, anti CC unit I have. Um, I'm probably gonna get rid of this just because I don't like how much single target damage this does, and that's still gonna be his like his main one. Um, she's gonna be pretty good because she's gonna brawl pretty well, but we'll see if we can take our chances. Um, everyone else does CC except for I guess uh, Clary. Uh, so Dilibet, that's fine. I think maybe not getting rid of the Fallen CC is a problem here, because now it just gives, um, it basically makes, uh, C-CERN, like, a, a immortal. Uh, let's see, okay, so we're gonna get stripped, that's fine. Um, he's not gonna AoE S3 with the, well, man, he might, he might. So, that's not a Spirit's Breath Angie, which is fine. Right, it's not too big a deal. Uh, who are you gonna do? Who are you gonna hit with this? That's fine. Let's see if he kills him. He's probably gonna S1 him though. Because you're not gonna S3, are you? Yeah. Uh, I don't know why you hit him. Or hit her, I mean. But we just kill you. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Okay. Uh, she's gonna kill him. She should. Did you just... I can't even... I don't have no idea what's going on anymore. I'm not good at this game. People doing advanced techniques like that is... I don't... It's beyond my understanding. Uh, let's see. He's not gonna S3 because, again, he doesn't want debuffs. I don't have a way to deal with the... Um, with her, so I guess we're kind of screwed here. Uh, I'm just gonna kill you. Uh, she kind of has three. So I guess my first 
objectives to kill her and then figure out what we're going from there. And of course, yep, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do. Uh, we're going to kill you. Um, that's one less unit to worry about. So Cesarado's kind of stopping him from s 3 with him, but uh, apparently not. <laughs> um, it's always great when you're immediately contradicted. Okay, she's gonna hit somebody. Oh, okay, hit him. Uh, does she have? She's gonna hit her. Yeah, that's fine. So he's not doing enough damage to like get her into range, which is pretty annoying. And now uh, Caesar is gonna die. Yeah, he's gonna get hit by something later, and he's just gonna die. Um, let's just hit everybody with this. Why not? Yeah, I guess in hindsight there wasn't enough CC there for me to to warrant picking Caesar so early. Just to pick everyone I picked so early. Okay, so then she gets revived. Uh, she have S3 up? S3... I don't know what I'm looking at here. Oh yeah, here it is. Uh, I actually, funnily enough, for those of you, I mean, I, I usually wear my headphones while I'm doing this, just because, like, blocking off one ear kind of, like, makes it so you hear your own voice better. Um, yeah, so he's just not doing any damage, which is hilariously stupid, because no one builds an A Tywin like this, doing so little damage. I mean, you don't want to build him like, you don't want to go, oh, I want effectiveness and a bunch of crit damage. You don't want to do too much of a hybrid because then you're losing out. So you really want a high effectiveness A Tywin more than anything else. High effectiveness, high speed. Um, but yeah, you still don't want to build him this, like, lacking in tank because, or this lacking in damage. Um, now, this is a good example, this is a good, uh, what's the word? This is a good, like, Example of why you would want to build him lacking damage, but this is like a very niche case um, But I just I happened to like end up playing against somebody like this So he stripped that which is fine uh, I guess we'll just kill you So she's gonna hit her Because she's the only thing there, so we're just gonna get rid of this and get this over with uh, I don't know why I stayed as long as I did, but I did uh, So yeah, we lost Primarily because Zerato didn't do anything because I, I didn't like wasn't paying enough attention. I was just like, hey, two lights and debuffs, let's just slam him. Um, but that wasn't a very good choice. Uh, this is also another example of like why speed gear is so important. So for those of you who like are complaining about um, the what happened with the counter set and all that stuff, and like, oh, suddenly you know. You should be farming counter set because if it's thirty percent, it's whatever. You know that's still that's a lie. Don't like let anybody tell you that speed gear is not useful anymore just because counter set's like ten percent better, even though it's just gonna activate the same as it's always been. Um, speed is always gonna be useful. So uh, let's see. I don't know what kind of a choice that was, but we're gonna take you and we're gonna take uh, where is uh, MLCC right here. Okay, so he hopefully he picks. Okay, that's weird. Oh, okay, that's even weirder. Um, now we're taking we're gonna take you and we're gonna take you. I'm curious to see what he has down here. Okay. Kind of weird. Should we take haste? I think I'm just gonna take haste and ban the flank because it's the only defense breaker. And he's gonna probably drop violet, and he didn't drop violet. That's kind of weird. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Okay, so presumably he's gonna S3. Okay. It's fine. 
Please miss on the landy, that'd be just fantastic. Okay, he didn't miss on the landy, and he got the stun on the violet, thank you. <sighs> Can't even. Let's see if he can, let's see if he kills anybody here. Okay, a little soul burn that did like piss all. He's gonna land the stun again. Well, I guess he didn't, so that's good. So he's gonna hit with this. Okay, yeah, the ram is like your number one target here, number one priority. Um, hopefully we counterattack. Okay, so we missed everything and we got stunned by the um, F10A. So that was basically, you know. When people say you lost RNG, that's what that's what they mean. Um, nothing, not a single thing went right for us there, um, and everything was just in his favor. So sometimes that happens. Um, not much you can do. Uh, let's see. We are at twenty-one minutes, so we probably have one more battle, and we go. Anyway, what, what was I saying? Yeah, something about like I wear headphones or something. Usually, usually while I'm recording these. Um. But for some reason, New Angie, more than any other unit, her voice, like, the, the unit itself doesn't bother me, and I've, I've been on record saying that, like, a lot of people just complain a lot, um, and the unit itself isn't really that big of, of an annoyance to me, um, but for some reason, that voice, I cannot, I can't stand listening to her, so I have to, like, take my headphones off, um, so for me, while I'm playing, I always play in silence anyway. Like everything I do is, is usually muted. But uh, for these videos, I put the uh, put the sound on, um, which may or may not be a good thing, mind you. You know, just just a thing. Uh, let's bring uh, where are you, Amelia? Uh, and we're gonna bring Maid Chloe, who is over here somewhere. There she is. And we're gonna bring. Um, I think after that we're probably gonna bring strays. Uh, let's see. Let's bring. I don't have enough damage to survive any of that, so I think I'm just gonna bring Rem. Should I just bring Rem? Uh, actually, let's bring. Uh, I'm gonna bring what's her name. I bring you. Yeah, we'll bring you. Um, and we'll ban you. Okay, that was interesting. So I probably should have banned or done something about the um, the TM Lulica, but that's fine. I mean, she can't kill anybody from this position with the S3, so she's probably just gonna S1 the. Um, She's probably just gonna ask one the uh, T Serena to try to kill her. So we're almost certainly. Oh, I guess not. I don't know who you're gonna hit with this. Oh, let's see how much damage she does, I guess. Oof, that was scary. Uh, we might outspeed the RB. Hopefully, we outspeed the RB. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. Well, we got this outspeed anyway. Uh. Yeah, we're just gonna hit it. We're just gonna let it rip. We're gonna. We're probably gonna kill the RB. Or actually, we're not. He's got Aureus. Um. So the RB didn't die, which is good. Okay. And I'm not sure what you're gonna do now. Well, okay then. I mean, seven K. It's fine. Yeah. If that was your. You know, if you knew what you were doing, then you just go for that. So we took too much, um, too much support. Um, that we we should have either taken the ML, the maid Chloe, or we should have taken. Yeah, and then you guess the soul burn on this. Um, we should have either taken the maid Chloe or the um, the Amelia, not both, and both kind of screwed us over because there was no mitigation whatsoever, and we kind of just ended up dead, um, especially because. I, w I, I chose Landy, and then I had, like, it was Landy and uh, Fallen CC, and then Amelia and, and, and um, made Chloe, and I was sitting there, and immediately I was like, oh, I want to pick, 
uh, ML haste into this, but I already have three, two soul weavers, and three soul weavers is a dumb idea. So that's why I kind of got cornered into picking uh, T Cern. I cornered myself into picking T Cern. Um, so that was yeah, that was my bad. Okay, let's see. Let's get rid of this. So yeah, in the future, <laughs> try not to pick double soul weaver. This is dumb. Um, let's take, uh, what's her name? Taking Fallen CC again. If I can find her. How do I always lose her? Oh, there she is. She's like the, she's like the first pick I always choose. Somehow I always lose her. Arby's here. Arby and Landy. Uh, we're gonna take... Uh, Amelia. And I'm gonna take. Uh, I guess I'll take you. We'll take. Uh, we'll take you. Yeah. We'll see what kind of other things he brings. Okay. So that this is. I don't understand why people pick would pick a a Celine into this because Celine's just gonna nuke the the carrot unless he just plans to ban carrot in which case it's not really that big a deal um then we're gonna pick where is yeah i guess i have to pick rem i'm kind of forced to uh if i can yeah let's go back to rem where's the waters we're picking rem and we're taking uh, ml haste and then we're banning the landy where is uh, haste there you are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't seem too bad. We're just gonna ban the landy. The landy's a real problem. Oh, you really should have gotten rid of ML Haste, man. Well, maybe. We'll see. And now I'm lacking a lot of damage. I mean, Rem is. That's what Rem is here to do, is a lot of damage, but. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we're gonna boost you up because you're our only damage dealer, so you're gonna. Yep. It's her, does basically no damage. Um, he's gonna get to do his S3, which again is not gonna do very much damage. Um, we're gonna get the. Um, I'm gonna get this off before the ML crowd goes. Okay. Oh, she actually healed up. That's crazy. Uh, so let's see if we can get a... Well, he has like... I was like, okay, so that's a slow ML Crow. Um, I was like, yeah, it's a slow Crow. So like, he must have a lot of HP. But then he just had like 2200 HP. So, or 22,000 22, HP. So here's a moment of truth. Let's see if he can kill her. This S3 is the most disappointing thing in the world. Like, it never does any damage. Like, it's so sad how little damage it does. I don't know, I'm not sure why it does so little. Like, it's always just, like, such a depressing, like, move. Like, every time I use it, it, it never does anything. It's quite sad. Um, we're just gonna hit you with this. So he's gonna die, and now we're gonna get our, um... Not only are we gonna get the demon mode, we're also gonna get the, uh... Let me see that. ML haste ability, uh, which is pretty good. So it's really, at this point, I really feel like letting it rip isn't what you should be doing. You should just S2 to minimize the chances of getting um, that happening. But I guess he wants the AOE counters so that he gets pushed up and the ML crowd gets reduced. So, I mean, either way, it, it, whatever floats your boat, man, that's up to you. Um, but yeah, that's not what I would have done. Hit you with this. That's a lot of damage. Alright, okay, let's get everyone healed up. There's not a whole lot of healing to do, considering uh, Haste already kind of dealt with that, but. Does she have Warhorn or something? And I got the counter, which is gonna give me two counters. 
not the most amount of damage, but uh, just chipping away at her. She's they don't have any healers, so chipping away at her is not is never bad. Yeah, and he just lost because. So I guess this is kind of I don't remember when I chose her. I don't think I chose Rem too early, but you don't uh, you don't want to bring ML uh, ML Crow into Rem because he's never really been a very good counter to her. He just she just way too much damage while stripping the immunity while stripping the shields. Um, and not giving him enough uh, S2 procs. Like, you, if you take three S3, three S, um, if you take three S2s, uh, okay, yeah, maybe it'll help reduce your S3 cooldown, but it doesn't really matter because, like, most of your team is dead and all you're left with is Crow, right? So, it's kind of one of the things that's important to realize. So that's a pretty decent first pick, especially with the MLCC off the board. Uh, we're going to take. If MLCC is not here, I'm taking you. And I'm taking... Uh, where is she? I'm taking Rem. The next thing I think we should do is probably take Amelia. Well, I'm, I'm just going to bring, um, where is he? ML Haste. He's probably going to pick Violet at some point, so we're not too bad. If he doesn't take Violet, I'm taking Violet. Um, and then banning whatever fire response he has to that. Let's see if he has the Haste. After this, oh okay, well that's an interesting choice. After this hunt event, I'm probably gonna like. Okay, yeah, he took the violet. After this hunt event, I think I'm going to. Um... Let's see, we're gonna bring, bring you, and then uh, we'll see how he responds. After this hunt event, I'm probably gonna gear my um, my Charlotte and have her do something other than just sit around in my barracks doing nothing. Wasting my time. Uh, I'm probably gonna bring Crow into this just for another night uh, artifact. And um, well, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Cause if he if he brings something else, if he brings more AOE, I'll bring I'll bring Crow. But if not, I'll just ban the the Charlotte uh, and then leave. You know, let her save and bring something else. But right now. Um, that's looking well like where I'm going. Because otherwise, if he brings more AoE, so that's an AoE, but it doesn't really count. And that guy's kind of annoying. Oof, he chose like the two most irritating units in the game. Um... Well, yeah, he has like most of the irritating units in the entire game. You bring him or I guess I'm dropping you and I'm probably gonna get rid of you because you can shut down your whole first turn. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna try that. Okay, so I lost Rem. This doesn't seem like a very good team. Like Rem should have been there. I should have had something else. Like if Ramos here, this be fine, but... Okay, so he's gonna AoE S3, which is fine. Um, the person who's gonna die is the Kitty Armin, but that's her job. Okay, and she didn't even die. That was crazy. Let's just kill him, just because he's gonna be squishy as hell, and... Uh... What if we just hit her? So somehow, why do we do so little damage? That should be like, that should be true damage every single time. And he was like, we'll just kill you, I guess. Uh, he should, I don't know what he, I don't know what she should have done there. Um, yeah, I guess killing the Kitty Armin would have been what you wanted to do. Um, because then he, she wouldn't get the heal and she'd just be dead, right? Um, unfortunately, it did not work out the way he probably would have wanted it to. 
So now he's gonna S1 the Kitty Armor, but Kitty Armor's gonna S3 and we'll be fine. Oh, this is gonna suck because... Let's see. Ooh, that speed tuning is horrible. Uh, cause Kitty Armin is gonna go, yeah, and see if he kills her. Wow, did he just waste the S3? He pulled a me. Let's see, we're just gonna do this. Um, since we're gonna lose that, we're just gonna do this anyway, watch. Yeah, he lost. <laughs> he was like, I think, yeah, he got hasty and he did the S3, which now means that I could hit him with the S1, or soul burn him with the S1 and then hit him with the S2 or the S3. And then he's gonna revive probably at some point. I'm just gonna get all the shields back, and yeah, it's not, it's not worth going in there for. So that's you know on, on a chill note, uh, we'll leave it there. <laughs> I'm still middling. I'm like this is the like I've been at the very edge of challenger into champion for like ever, um, and it's mainly just drafting problems. Like I'm just not, I'm kind of dumb sometimes, and I just pick dumb stuff. Uh, but yeah, so and I obviously don't have speed. So if I start picking too much speed, it's like ah oh, well then there we go. <laughs> I'm not gonna beat you, man. Uh, you got it, but uh, yeah, uh, you know, hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I oh, I, I was gonna mention it while it was loading. Uh, apparently, I got like <laughs> I don't have that many subscribers, but I've already got uh, some haters on my videos. I don't know for some reason it just it was just like stood out to me how funny it was that like the Bellion summoning video I did had like <laughs> three dislikes for some reason, which uh, either it was just a really bad summoning video, which I don't know. It just feels like it's all the other summoning videos or <laughs> somebody. I said something in that pissed somebody off. Um, which it's not too, uh, it's not too hard to imagine. I say a lot of stuff, uh, that probably annoys people because I talk crap about all the other YouTubers. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I just thought that was funny. Um, I wonder who those guys are. I wonder <laughs> why they're here. Um, but yeah, I, like I don't, I don't get, the, I don't get a lot of dislikes because I only, I don't get that many views. I only get like 30 views at most. And like <laughs> to think some of those guys are going out of the way to dislike, like, Bigger channels, you understand, because, like, you know, when you have a thousand people, you know, if 1% of them dislikes, I mean, it's still 100 dislikes or something like that, right? Is that? No. 10 people dislike. There we go. Out of a thousand, 1% is still 10 people. Um, but to think I already had, like, that's more than, like, like I said, I have, I got three people, <laughs> and I only got 30 views. <laughs> like, all 10% of my people. Um, but, yeah, so, anyway, um, I just thought that was interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll probably have this and maybe some more RTA, um... Uh, the next day and the next day so over the weekends there's not a whole lot of content to do especially when there's um um grinding to be done but i might make like some 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 analysis kind of theory videos looking at the, the epic 7 um that e7x.com or some whatever that website is and just kind of going over units and seeing how we can improve them or you know buffs or whatever we can do just like just some ideas uh, just for the sake of it um but yeah i don't know that, that'll be that